Hey guys, so this week is the grand opening of our studio in Sacramento. And if you've been following us on Facebook, then you know that we are renting out the studio three times a month. So for my brand, Photography by Tammy, I use Pixify to collect my contracts and my payments. And it's basically kind of to manage my calendar, to basically um, get questionnaires from my clients. So I thought maybe I would upgrade my Pixify account so that way I could have another brand for my studio because since we're renting out, I really wanted it to have its own distinct brand. But then I found out that Equisite actually offers a free account if you only send out five contracts a month, which is great. This is perfect for you guys that haven't been utilizing something like eSign. I think it's highly effective in getting contracts back um, and it works really well so that way, especially if you're traveling, um, and not having to wait for faxes and things like that. So I just thought I would show you how easy it is to use this because I set this up last night and I am pretty thrilled by the outcome of it. So what you do is you create your contract in Word or PDF or whatever, however you did. So I just did a little sample one right here for you. Okay. And then you want to go to echosign.com and sign up for an account. Okay. So they have three tabs, the home, the send, and the manage tab. So when you go to the home tab, you can basically upload all your contracts. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload this sample contract that I just made. Okay. And I want it to be an e-signature. And I want to check both these boxes. And I always want to sign before my recipient signs. Um, and you always want to check this box, pre-position signatures, because this is where you start adding your signature lines, things like that, and you want to name it. And press upload. Okay, so when you get to this screen right here, it's going to show you your document, and now you can start kind of putting in little fields that you want to fill out or you want the signer to fill out. So how you do that is up here, it has a little kind of drop-down menu, and it tells you what roles you want certain fields to play. So you have areas where you the signer has to fill out the documentation, and then you have areas where you can fill out or pre-fill out the documentation. So I'm going to start with a pre-fill because there's certain things that I'm going to know ahead of time and I want to pre-fill that into the contract. And you click here on the form field because that's what it means when you, you know, I guess fill out a field. So I'm going to know the renter's information ahead of time. And I'm going to also know their email probably. Okay. And you can also adjust these lines to however big you want it. Okay. And I also will probably know this information. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all those. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the drop down and pick where I want the signer to fill out. So I want the signer to fill out their address because I might not get that beforehand and their photo. I'm sure their address is going to be longer than their phone number. So. Okay, and you can move these around and adjust it the way you need. Okay. So of course now I want them to sign the document. So I'm going to go ahead and add a signature line. And I can also add a date line. And if you have more than one page, you can also add initial lines too to every page. Or you can add initials to certain areas, you know, depending on also your contract state. Because some states say that you're initially have to initial the part where the deposit is and things like that. Okay. So once you've got all the fields that you want kind of filled out, you press save. And it just automatically saves into your document. Okay. So once you have your document in there, you can go to the Manage tab, which is right here. And I'll show you all the documentation in there. I'm not going to go to it now because I have some documents in there I don't want you guys to look at. Um, but basically, you can edit your document there and adjust it or delete them however you need. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how easy it is once you have the document in there and once you fill out the fields to send that document to somebody. Okay, so you just go to the Send tab right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in my email. And you just want to name it. And now you just click on the document library if you already have the document in there or else you can upload a new document if you need to. Okay. And you always want to click on this area where it says preview position signatures or add form fields. Okay. Because that's going to allow you to preview it and add in your pre-filled fields that you requested. Okay. So the first screen is going to show you is basically the 
uh, preview of the document that you already have. If it looks good and you don't want to add anything extra, um, then you can press send. So now it's going to send bring you to the area where you can pre-fill all those items that you requested to. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in the information for the renter and the email address. Okay. And let's just pretend that it's going to be in November. The rental time will be at 11. Okay. All right. So once you have all that filled out, you press, press click to submit, and then I'll bring you to another screen to preview it before you send everything. I'm not going to do it now because I don't actually want to send this document to, my, to myself, but it kind of shows you how easy it is to actually start using this program to get your e-signatures. So it's perfect for you if you are a wedding photographer because you probably don't set up more than five contracts a month. So you kind of want to just kind of test out the program to kind of get you started on e-signing. And they also have monthly rates that are really affordable, which is about $15 a month if you actually start exceeding the five contracts a month. So as always, I do videos every Thursday. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up with more tutorials, tips, and tricks. I will talk to you next time. Bye.